I'm Pam Seidel at the intersection of Bay and Charles, where residents of these condo towers here say this construction site is a safety hazard. And I can tell you that we have seen evidence of this ourselves. The cars fly along Charles Street here, and pedestrians often step right out into traffic uh, to get around this backhoe. It's kind of chaotic and, and pretty scary. Now, the reason the residents are so fed up with this site is because it has been sitting idle for two full months. Work stopped right after the hole was dug. And the reason for the delay, this little honey locust tree. They started construction. The construction project was supposed to take six weeks. Within a period of one week, they stopped the construction because there was a small tree that the city would not let them take down. We think. For the last two months, nothing has happened. I keep threatening that I'm going to go to the Canadian Tire and I'm <laughs> going to saw. buy a buzzsaw <laughs> and it'll be done. Colina Savia and her husband John Bond are two of a group of residents who have been complaining about the situation and the large backhoe that's been sitting at the corner blocking a lane of traffic. They say they have tried to contact the construction company, which was contracted by Bell to replace underground cables, but they haven't received any answers. They say this is a very busy intersection and there's reduced visibility because of the fencing and equipment, which is a safety hazard. It's more than frustrating, it's dangerous. Pedestrians are crossing. You can't see the cars coming until you put your face out and see them come. And you can't see the cars turning right onto Charles Street. You, you figure a pedestrian could get hurt very badly. Now, the residents are also upset because they say they have contacted their local councillor, Kristen Wong Tam, numerous times and hadn't heard anything back. Now, while it's true that Wong Tam only heard about this issue for the first time today, her staff have, in fact, been dealing with residents and trying to make this area safe. But uh, Wong Tam agrees that there's no way that this backhoe should have been sitting here for the last two months. She also confirms that the reason for the delay is that the contractor failed to get a permit to remove the tree. With all due respect, it's a pretty scrawny little tree. Is it really worth all the fuss? Um, for urban forestry, it certainly is. And I think, um, you know, it's important to note that uh, accumulatively all these trees actually make up the great tree canopy of the city of Toronto. And if every little tree was discounted, then we wouldn't have much of a canopy. Uh, what I think is the, the bigger problem here is that you have a federally regulated sector who does what they want in, uh, in cities and oftentimes on city streets without any notification to the community. Now, I did call Bell's contractor, Avertex, twice today, but didn't hear back from anyone. Wong Tam says the good news for residents is, is that the permits to remove the tree have been issued. The tree will be cut down. A similar one will be put up in his place. Uh, but the bad news is that residents are going to have to put up with this construction site in front of their homes for another six weeks. This... This story was brought to us by a, a viewer just like you. If you have news in the making, here are all the ways you can contact us.